Our paths have crossed. I'm back here in Guild Wars 2, continuing with The Living Story Season 2, Episode 1. It's now Thursday, October the 26th, as I proceed here, and I have just arrived in the Dry Top map. Um, now, as you can see... It's a new map. We're overwhelmed responding to casualties from the Zephyrite crash. Inquest agents are rushing in to take advantage of these poor people, and the frequent sandstorms only add to our woes. I hear the nearby mining town of Prosperity has also seen its share of trouble, but we've been too busy assisting the crash survivors to investigate. Hmm. So the Zephyrites crashed here. Now we vaguely remember the Zephyrites from uh, season one. I don't really completely remember their story at all. Maybe somebody here will tell me the story. Nimbus, do you have the story? Our aspect crystals can help you navigate this wasteland. Since the crash shattered them, our crystals can only grant you their movement skills for a short while before their energies ebb. Um, can you tell me more about your people? Using the power of our aspect crystals, my people traveled the skies before our flying ships crashed here. We live lives of simplicity and peace dedicated to the legacy of our prophet, Glint. Hey, can you tell me more about Glint? Because I never know anything about Glint. Our beloved dragon champion fell, defending all who live from her former master, the elder dragon, Kralkatoric. Her crystalline remains gave us the magic to loft our ships and move like aspects of the sky. Huh. Cool. Okay. So you guys worship Glint, huh? Let's repair my armor while I'm standing here, because I'm sure it needs it from that last fight. Uh, let us also spend a moment here cleaning out our inventory. I don't really know what to do with any of this stuff. Um, should I just open it? I guess it's just going to be loot boxes here. Not like paid loot, bo loot boxes, but like Guild Wars 2 loot boxes where there are boxes that just explode into more loot that fills up your inventory. Pale Reaver chest. Sell all that junk. There's a... I'm just going to sell this stuff instead of trying to... You know, um, salvage it or whatever. I got a bunch of birthday boxes here. Celebration bags. Black Lion goods. Bag of luck. I'll open that. Bag of laurels. I'll open that. Wyvern cash. More loot. That we're just going to get rid of. Uh, sell junk. Alright, that's good enough for now. Hopefully that will let me get through the rest of the story without too many more complications. Alright, so, there's a Zephyrite there with a green star over their head. So, I thought we had to go way up here somewhere, but apparently not. Speak to Spark in Dry Top. Oh, I didn't speak to Spark, but I spoke with Nimbus. That's weird. Time heals all sorrows. All gone. I still can't believe it. What happened here? One moment our ship was sailing smoothly through clear skies, and the next we were falling. Well, what caused your sky ship to crash? I'm sorry. I don't know. It was so sudden. Nothing like this has ever happened to my people since we took the sky. All right, take care of yourself. So I'm always... Oh, man. There's... It seems kind of buggy here. First it said speak to Spark, but then when I spoke to Nimbus, it said that I completed speaking to Spark. Then when I spoke to Spark, it said I completed speaking to Nimbus. So that's pretty cool. Alright, let's go see if we can figure out these aspect crystals again. 
something like, oh, that's right, they put new stuff in your, uh, in your hot bars. Use the lightning pull to reach the platform. Which ones? That's this one. Use an assisted leap to reach the next. Whoa. Oh, oh. Forgot, I'm trying not to use my uh, glider. Use an assisted leap to ascend the cliff. I'm trying not to use my uh, Heart of Thorn stuff to try to get a sense of how. Whoops, it wore off. And our hearts will heal. Get a sense of how this was at the time. Again, I am, I am replaying this story which I have already completed before, but I want to replay it so I can get a, a recording of it. But I'm going to play it as if I'm seeing it for the first time. Which in some cases, um, I actually don't really remember this very well, so I'm not going to remember very much of it anyway. So that will work out just fine. Make your way to the crash site. So apparently, um, I'm really not sure how we went from fighting vines at the first part of this place to looking for a Zephyrite crash in the second chapter of this episode, but um, I'm just going to assume that maybe I missed something. I actually... I stopped playing the the uh, after the first chapter. I probably should have just continued on from there, and maybe this story would have made more sense if I'd done that. But um, I didn't really want to go back and replay all of that again. I certainly didn't want to go through that massive fight again. Okay, so this is not going well. I feel like I need to make some changes to my build. Because I'm, yeah, I'm not going to get very far like this. With this kind of support role that I'm in here. Yep, I died already. I'm back. Back here at the beginning. Where's that repair thing? Uh, okay, let me see if I can fix my healing skill, if nothing else. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe go from... The centaur one is kind of a healing stance, it's a healing thing, so I'm going to switch out of that one to assassin stance. Oh, maybe that's what I need. Assassin seems familiar to me. I feel like that's kind of a DPS sort of a thing. So... Okay, am I in Assassin Stance now, or am I in Demon Stance? I'm in Demon Stance. Okay, I don't know what that means. Heal yourself, heal more. Which condition? Alright, let's just go with this for a while. I don't know what it, what it is, what's going on. I know nothing about anything. Oops, I just walked right into that sand. And again, I'm trying not to use my uh, glider and mounts. To improve the authenticity of this experience. Alright, let's try to fight this thing. Now that I've got these new things going on. Is this going better? I can't really tell. Oh my god. No, it's not going better at all. I just got... Destructified there. 
Okay, now they're they're multiplying, of course. I don't know why they're multiplying or how they're multiplying. These vines, jungle roots are just coming out of nowhere. Good lord. I'm supposed to be wearing heavy armor too. How do I keep getting killed so easily? Do I have any, uh, oh good lord, I got 250 pieces of candy corn. It's Halloween time now, um. Just, oh my god. Alright, well I guess I'll just play as a giant candy corn. Just kind of run over here. Can I kill anything as a candy corn? I have reached the crash site. Oh, I'm dying. I'm dying really fast as a candy corn. Wow. Well, this is a very authentic dry top experience for someone who is not a Guild Wars 2 expert. Um... I am coming back to this class, not really understanding how to play it, and uh, Guild Wars 2 punishes you severely for not knowing intimately how to play your class. So there is, there is no learning curve, it's like zero to Zero to expert instantaneously. Let me try the assassin. Because uh, I feel like assassin did a lot of damage. Maybe. Oh, I don't have... You cannot use this while transformed? What? What the heck? Why am I, oh, I'm still aspected. I get it now. All right. So let's try to use a lot of my skills. Again, another root just came out of nowhere to help. Fight with his friend. Dust mites have come out of the, the woodwork here. There we go. Okay. We survived the first 10 feet. Can we go farther? Uh, we're trying to reach the crash site still. Let's see if we can just fight this one dust mite. Also see if I can find my mute key so I can cough. I love how uh, the terrain is so... You're so prone to getting stuck on the terrain. That's really cool. Oh, now we have two dust mites to fight. And I don't know how to get out of this aspect mode. Alright, is this a crash site? Okay, we got too many mobs here to fight, so we're gonna run for our life. Running away. There is an event here, though. So I feel like I need to get rid of these things before I can even begin to do anything story-wise. Even though I'm basically gonna die. Because there's no way I can defeat all these by myself. I have no energy, no place to go to run away. That's pretty awesome. 
There is a good chance I'm gonna get mad at this game at some point. Oh my god, how did that happen? How did I start fighting this mob that wasn't even aggroing me? It's because I thought I was still in aspect form, so I hit T to jump. But it turns out I had fallen out of the... Oh, now I'm back in the aspect form, so T jumps again. And I'm dead. That's just great. Yeah, there's a good chance I'm going to get mad at this game during this playthrough. As I'm coming back to Living World Season 2, I am rediscovering... It is punishingly hard. There is no time to learn. This is for hardcore players only. This is for the get good crowd. I have to think of something to say as I run back from my death again. So I'm going to just kind of try to run over there through all these dust mites. I see some other people over here. And just when I get here, my aspect wears off. That's cool. All right, I'm going to try to help these people in this fight. Entirely sure how to do this. Yes, the event is over. Yay. We can endure this. We will see our way through these tests. We were fortunate this time, but we remain lost in a harsh and unforgiving place. It's easy to remain at balance when all is well. Our challenge is to know that same peace even in our darkest days. Are you guys hippies? <laughs> I can see it's going to be a challenge to retrain our spiritual balance. Yeah, challenge is the word, isn't it? Um, there's a vista there somewhere. I'm not even going to bother with that. I see a green star. Would you like to continue your story, Fallen Hopes? Yes. Get me inside of an instance. This instance. Wait. An instance this instant. Here's the group. That structure is unstable. It would be unwise for us to go in. Scruffy scan confirms that it won't support all our weight. According to my calculations, the most efficient combination would be you, Marjorie, and Casimir. The rest of us can wait out here. Did she just call us fat, Bram? Yep, she sure did. Facts are facts. The three of us together Weigh as much as 19 Casimirs. Great. I'm a unit of measurement. Lead on, boss. Kaz and I are with you. We'll holler for the rest of you if we need something smashed. I'm the boss. Um. Use Casimir's portal to enter the crash site. So we just have to use the portal. Lead the way when you're ready. So yeah, this is uh, this is the group again that we picked up in Living World Season One: Casimir, Marjorie Delacroix, Braun. What is that sound? Like wolves howling or something? Man, that really freaked me out. Rocks is the other one. Okay, so I'm jumping in this portal. Casimir and Marjorie and I. Hold on. I'll cast... Wait. Something's wrong. What's the matter, doll? I can't form a portal. Something here is blocking me. You know, I think I remember this. Sun dashed through. I've collected some of the Zephyrite crystals. See if you can break through with this sun crystal. Of course I can. Hey, smash that. Oh... My god. Okay, that was cool. I dashed too far. 
Alright, I'll get it this time. Stop! Oh my god. I almost did the exact same thing again. Inquest barrier. Let's kill the barrier. Halt, intruders. This area falls under inquest jurisdiction. You are trespassing. Ergo, be gone, or we'll have no choice but to oust you. Look, we're just trying to help these poor crash victims and find out what happened. Do you know anything about the crash? All we know is that whatever lands in our territory is ours to salvage. Let us show you just how serious we are about this. I am going after this grenadier first. First thing. Okay, Grenadier's down. I'm almost dead already. Wow, that's cool. You know, I remember playing this, actually. <laughs> I remember this specific instance. My opinion of it was not positive. Let me just say that. And you want to know why? It's because it's impossible to maneuver here in this spot. Heal me, Kaz! Heal me! Why aren't you healing me? What dreadful business! Are you trying to say that those guys are jerks? Them. Still think I'm not ready for battle? Listen, I'm sorry about how I've been acting. I, I just can't stand the thought of you getting hurt again. That scared the fluff out of me. I know, honey. I felt the same way about you. But you convinced me that you can handle yourself. Now let me convince you. All right. Ugh, it's days of our lives up in here. That gap with a lightning tether. Try this crystal. I'm noticing that there's a lot of, like, delay in the, the advancement of the story here. It's like, you have to just stand here for a minute and wait for the scripted, um, the scripted script. Blocking my magic. Please keep an eye out for anything unusual. Like, uh, more of these inquest devices? I'm not sure why the inquest is here, either. I'm not really clear on this definitely interfering with my spell now that it's out of commission I should be able to conjure a short-range portal indeed there she is there's those wolves again creepy there's somebody named morning over there. Oops. Here we go. Alright, I guess we have no choice but to attack since everybody else just ran in here. So naturally everybody starts fighting me, even though I'm just minding my own business over here. Well, I'm almost dead. Oh, that's a veteran. That's that's cool. Wait, it's two veterans. Oh my god. It's like they they assumed everybody was gonna do this in a group or something. Let's see if I can get this Gollomancer. Highly unlikely. Because uh the stupid golem is in the way. Alright, well we'll just start over. No biggie. We'll just keep dying and starting over again. It's the way of Guild Wars 2, Living Story Season 2. Why can't I do any damage to this Gollomancer? There we go. Like, I swear I've hit him like a hundred times and he's still got full health. Alright, 
let's go back to long range here. Eh, not that it matters. They've got ranged weapons. None of my compatriots are healing me. Marjorie just called these golems bullies. Oh, I didn't know it. That one sends you back to your uh, previous location. Is that like a shield? I don't even know what that is. I don't know what my abilities do. <laughs> Obviously. It looks like some kind of shield. Field of the Mist. Blocks incoming projectiles. So wait! How did I not know about this before? Keep that up all the time. Now we're getting somewhere. I'm here. Help me. Hello, morning. This one's alive, but hurt badly. You're going to be okay. My friends and I will get you out of here. F f forget about me. The Master of Peace is in danger. Someone has to go find him and protect him. The Master of Peace? Your leader? Where is he? Why is he in danger? I don't know why. But the Silvari is trying to kill him. Please. Hey. What hey, dreadful Hey, stay business. with me. Oh, damn. She's dead. No. Oh. I hate to speak ill of the dead, but that Zephyrite was lying. About what? Don't get me wrong. She was very afraid for the Master of Peace, but when she said she didn't know why he was in danger, I could tell. She wasn't lying. Why would she lie? Are you sure? Absolutely. It was in her posture and in her eyes. She didn't give us the whole truth. I believe you. Let's press on and see if we can find any more answers. Yeah, how does she know? She seems to have uh, lie detecting abilities. Casimir does. The <laughs> I think you could make that jump with a wind crystal. Here, try this one. I like how Marjorie just like makes these crystals appear out of nowhere. The other thing is it's it's really hard not to look at Casimir like a Barbie doll. I just, it's really hard not to see her like that, especially in these, uh, episodes. I don't mean to be demeaning when I say that, but she just has that platinum haired Barbie look. Smash the inquest, okay. Can I do, no? No, I was trying to hit the dampener. I was not trying to hit the veteran inquest people. Okay, well, I guess we have no choice. Alright. Let's see if we can use our shields. Nope, shields are not helping a bit here. Gonna die again. I just... I just don't have the firepower to deal with these guys. Apparently. Where'd they go? Oh, they vanished. Nice. And I, I can't... Obstructed. I probably don't even... I uh, probably don't even have the... 
the appropriate gear for level 80, even. Alright, I'm back down here. Oh no, I'm back up here. Okay, cool. Can I... Does this shield apply to me, I wonder? Let's use my ultimate ability to see what that does. I don't even know what my abilities do. I'm really only using the purple one because I just like the color purple. <laughs> That's my main reason for using it. I don't know. I don't know if the purple, uh... The purple, um, what do you call them? Aspects? Of the Revenant? Is any good or what? Oh, that was a... Oh, I didn't know that was a ranged ability. So, yeah, again, I am I am learning my class as I play this, so I'm going to be just stupefyingly awful for these first... Um, these first ones. Anybody going to say something? I'm afraid to start talking because I, I feel like they're going to start talking any second. Maybe not until I click on them. You're my lucky charm. It's one tragedy after another. First Lion Arch, and now this terrible accident. What's happening to our world? This was no accident. All uh, these dead. They're breaking my heart. A friend pointed out to me that these people weren't killed in the crash. They were dead beforehand. What? Murder. A friend? What friend pointed that out? Yeah, I'm kind of tired of playing this now, but I don't feel like I can stop. I feel like if I log out, I'll have to start back at the beginning. Alright, so I got three stars. Search the plateau for clues. We're going to have to fight through a Mark I Golem, another veteran inquest. Alright, let's just go for it. I'm sure I'm going to pull the veteran as soon as I fight this guy. Veteran technician he is. Oh. Alright, the golem's down. Click every button on my hotbar. Do I know what they're doing? Not a clue, but I'm clicking them anyway. Oh, I see. So every time I use the hotbar abilities on the right-hand side, it uses up my little purple energy bar here. Well, that's good to know. What do we have here? This page, torn from a mission log, has a single phrase scrawled across it. I turn my back on you, mother. My solo voice of truth will dampen the cacophony of fools. Aaron. I should discuss this with Marjorie. With Marjorie. Hello, good looking. What is... <laughs> she's... She's changed. What did you find? It reads like a meditation scrawled on a page from someone's personal logbook. I've heard of them. They're usually peaceful. I, uh, have you heard of the Soundless? I've heard of them. They're usually peaceful. Do you think the Savari is one of them? Perhaps. The Soundless turned away from the Pale Tree's protection, didn't they? I'm just, I'm So our Savari through. was Soundless. Jory, you sound downright excited. The plot thickens, my dear. Of course I'm excited. <laughs> Jeez. Jory is something else. Um... All right, let's see if we can get around these stupid dust mites. Man, I cannot wait to blog about this. 
going to say so many bad things about this game. <laughs> this was... Why am I doing this? Why am I trying... I could have just left these alone. Let's just see if we can leave them alone. Let's just go fight this veteran dust mite twister thing. Start using all of our abilities again, even though I don't know what they do. I'm trying to stick with this hammer because it's it's the only ranged ability that revenants have. And chances of survival are considerably better at range in Guild Wars 2. This wood was blast scorched in an explosion rather than slow burned as seen on most of the wreckage. I should discuss this. Hey you guys, look over here. Look Hello, over here. here. <laughs> she sounds so much like a hippie, the way she talks. Hey guys, look over here. <laughs> Radical, groovy man. I guess radicals. Radical's not a hippie term. Groovy man, look over here. The scorch marks and heavy damage to these airships support beams is consistent with explosives. Some of this wreckage isn't fresh. These burn marks are old. It's as if they'd been attacked before the crash. Well, it does sort of kind of make sense that they would be attacked and then crash. I mean, that doesn't seem like a revelation of any kind. <laughs> it would be odd to crash and then get attacked. Well, I guess that wouldn't be odd, but... It certainly makes perfect sense that they would be attacked and then crash. I don't see anything unusual about that did not need a scientific investigation to come up with that conclusion. What dreadful business. <laughs> what dreadful business. All right, let's try some assassinating again. Whoa, I thought I was going to go right off the edge. Okay, this assassin stance definitely... Oh, great. More veterans. Definitely seems to have a bit more DPS. Who is that? Are you a grenadier? I hate grenadiers so much. I'm going to go right off the edge, I bet. Oh, that's a veteran grenadier. It's like there's no place to stand where you're not going to take damage. Why does it have to be another Solvari? I don't know, but his actions are not random. He was after something or someone specific. The Master of Peace? Is he on the run? Is the assassin after him? I think so, yes. We have to find him before the assassin does. Do you think we can track them? Well, I certainly hope so. You're my lucky charm. I doubt the Master of Peace knows any area, this area, any better than we do. If we were to kill him and being pursued, where would you go? She almost sounds like a female version of William Shatner. <laughs> I did for the closest town. That makes sense. Okay, then. We should head into that town there. I'll go. You stay here and type the investigation. I'll take Roxbram and tie me with me. Jory? Yes, dear? 
I was hoping we'd have a break from the death and destruction once Scarlet was gone. Unfortunately, I believe Scarlet was just the tip of a very large, very deep iceberg. Yes, Fallen Hopes is complete. All right, so before I stop, let me... Let me figure out where I need to go next. So I can leave this instance now. How is somebody supposed to get over there? I could go over there to leave the instance, but why would anybody go over there when they could just click on this leave instance button here? So the next place we need to go for, um, I guess, chapter three of the Gates of Maguma, tracking the Master of Peace, the next place we need to go is up here to this town up here. So when next I play, I will be heading for that direction. But for now, I'm going to stop. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.